everybody thinks bear trapping is easy. There's a lot that goes into getting traps put into the ground. Bear trapping occurs in July and August when the woods are quiet before the fall hunting season gets rolling. This timing reduces the likelihood of conflicts with hunters in these remote areas. As far as the gravelly mountains go, you know, they, they can do everything they need to do in here. A female can set up a home range in here and spend her entire life cruising around and not really ever be seen by anybody. So again, great research trap site and it's an important part of the process for us when it comes to grizzly bears in Montana. Our research captures play a large role in our population estimate for the southwest portion of Montana and the bears that we capture here become part of the population estimate and everything else that we do in regards to grizzly bears. So, pretty good spot, nice and quiet. Traps are monitored via a satellite and will ping the crew when a bear has been successfully trapped. So it's important that while we're research trapping, we use natural foods only. So typically a roadkill ungulates, uh, deer, elk, occasional moose or antelope. Uh, today we've got some deer quarters we'll throw in there for bait. Uh, we'll probably hang a call bait. So we got some good stinks, some fish that the fisheries guys provided from doing some sampling on Hebgen Lake. So hopefully that deer quarter in the trap will seal the deal. This past July, FWP and with partnership with the interagency Grizzly Bear Study Team, collared seven grizzlies and gravelies, including this male. For more information about bears in Montana, please visit fwp.mt.gov.